Welcome to the Sign Writing Stream, where we show, teach, and demo all about Sutton Sign Writing. This week's episode, Sign Writing in Unicode Characters and the Font Database. Let's get started. As always, go ahead and hop over on Gitter.im in the Sutton Sign Writing community. You can find the links and discussions. Love to hear your comments and questions. This week's episode, I've actually created a script for you can find that on github.com slash Slavinsky. It's, uh, it's the Sign Writing Stream Series 1, Episode 10. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the clone link. And I will get started in VS Code. We're going to do git clone and paste in our link. All right. That created a new folder, so let's open that folder. It's on the desktop, and there we go. Take a look at the README, and VS Code has a nice preview, so we can get a HTMLized version. You can find the link to the documentation for the font database. Um, in this episode, I use the VS Code Editor the bash command line, the node runtime, runtime environment on Windows 10 with a Linux subsystem. To get started, we need to clone the repository for the font database. We can copy that command. We'll open up the terminal. Paste in our git clone command for the font database. Give that a minute to think, think, think. And we can keep reading. Uh, we need to enter our new directory and we need to install it. It will take a while, so let's get that started. We can cd to our font database, and then npm install. This is going to install all of our dependencies for us. So while that's thinking, we can go ahead and keep reading. We're going to be using the sign writing and Unicode character set. I, what we need to do is we need to install the Sutton Sign Writing 1D font. And you'll notice that later I'll also be using the Firefox browser. To use the sign writing in Unicode characters for development, we need to take a few steps. Rather than seeing these empty boxes, we, we want to see our actual characters. So what we need to do is we need to install the Sutton Sign Writing 1D font. We can open up this link right here. All right, here it is. We have available fonts. You can add the Sutton Sign Writing line font and the fill font if you want, but for this episode, what we need to do is install the Sutton Sign Writing 1D font. This is a true type font. We're going to save it. It's going to download. And once it's downloaded, we can open our file up and install. Should only take a second. There we go. Excellent. Now, the second thing we need to do is we need to configure VS Code to properly display our sign writing in Unicode characters. What we need to do is go under File, Preferences, and Settings, and we're going to search for Font Family, and we're going to append our Sutton Sign Writing 1D to the list of fonts. So File, Preferences, Settings, search for Font, and here's our list, and we do comma, Sutton, and writing 1D. Excellent. Now we're still installing, so let's keep on reading a little bit. Oh, let's explore the database. So let's go into our font database directory. We can take a look. Oh, let's ls instead. Make that a little bigger. Here's the one directory we're concerned about. It is the cd-db, which is our database directory. We can see that there are three files in here. We have our JavaScript for our functions, and we have our ISWA2010 database. Let's do a long listing on that, so we can see it's about 43 megabytes big. Now to explore the database, we can use SQLite 3 because it is an SQLite database. So we can do SQLite 3 ISWA 2010DB. So there's a couple commands we can do. We can do a dot tables dot 
tables, and you'll see that it only lists one table, and that is the symbol table. We can do a dot schema for our symbol table, and you can see that we have an ID, a uh, sim key, width, height, and the SVG. So let's select sim, sim key, comma, SVG from symbol where ID equals one. And you can see we have our symbol ID, or sorry, our symbol key of S10000. And here is the inside of our SVG that the font database uses. All right, that's all that we're gonna show in our database. So, now that we actually have the font database installed, let's shut down VS Code and let's open it back up. And open that with code. There we go. Uh, <laughs> let's look at the readme. All right. Now, when we scroll down in the editor, we can see that our SW characters are installed, so we can actually see them in the editor, which is very nice when you're programming. If you notice over here, we still see these boxes. That's because sometimes you need to add some cascading style sheets to tell it exactly what to use. Right here, we can see that we're using a paragraph and we're telling it the style font family Sutton sign writing 1D. And when we use that, our preview of our markdown file does in fact show our characters over here. All right, explore the database. We already did that. The functions. All right, let's cd into our font database. Now we can do ls SWU. Make this a little bit bigger. And you can see here are all the functions that we can use. Now, if we're just concerned about making individual symbols, we can use the symbol SVG or the symbol ping. Let's scroll down further. What I want to do is show an example of using the sign. I'm gonna scroll this down all the way here. So this is the command I wanted to copy. Node, saying run with node, the SWU sign ping. Here's the string I'm giving it, and I'm also giving it a style string, and I'm telling it to save it to a file. Copy that and paste that in our directory. And when that runs, we can actually look at the file system in the font database, and there's a new file called black.ping. We open that up, we can see our ping image that was created with our library. All right, there's also a server that we can use. Uh, this is an example server to show you how to use the functions. And all we need to do is we need to uh, list what's in the server. And we only have two. We have an index.html file we can look at. And we also have a server.js that has all of our code. Let's start up the node server. So node server server.js. This is going to run a local server that we can actually view on localhost for thousand and two hundred. Let's go back to Firefox, go to our page and refresh it. And here we can see that it is the Sutton sign writing font database server. Let's scroll down to the uh, sign writing and Unicode functions. Let's take a look at a sign. Click on our SVG sign symbol and it will go to a new address. It is localhost 4020 SWU sign SVG and it actually gives us our SVG. We can do a view source and you can see inside we do have our SVG. We can see our text that we gave it in SWU and we can see each of the individual symbols placed at their respective X, Y coordinates. In VS Code, go back to the file system and we are concerned about in the server directory, the server.js. All 
Our server.js is an example. We're using the fsw functions, which is part of the font database, the swu functions by doing a require. We're using the fs node, which is just the file system. We're using the, an HTTP server from node by just doing a require HTTP. And we're also including the URL module so that we can parse URLs. Um, we have our prefix for XML. You just need that so that the browser will display that properly. And then we start. We say our server is an HTTP create server, which has a request and a response. We're going to parse our, requ our uh, request, giving it that URL. And that URL is that is what is up here. Localhost, SWU, sign SVG. So what we need to do is find the uh, SWU sign SVG. We have a uh, case here we don't need, don't need. And we keep, keep going down until we get to the SWU. Now we have SWU symbol. And here it is, SWU sign SVG. To use, or actually to create the SVG we're going to be using, we use the SWU module that we uh, imported before with the require statement. We're using the sign SVG, and we're going to pass it that parts4. That parts4 is actually the SWU character string that we had sent. And it, you pass that into a function with an error and a result. If there's an error, we'll just log it to the console. But if there is a response, that will mean that it did send us back an SVG that we can use. We just tell it the header, which is an image SVG. We write the prefix, which every SVG needs to display properly, and then we just write the response. And that response that we wrote is that response that is right here. So that right there is a quick introduction of using sign writing and Unicode characters in our editor and with the Vont database package. I hope that this was useful. Comments and questions, please join our Gitter. Thanks for watching.